on YouTube, it's White Fingers coming at you with another video. Today, I got my freaking wheel installed. Oh man, oh man, it looks freaking beautiful. I don't know if the GoPro will be able to see everything on the wheel though. That's what I'm afraid of, but we're about to jump into this Tamada, Tamada, however you want to say it, Sportsland. Have not driven the, let me move my mouse, oh my gosh. I haven't driven the 180 in a long time. The main cars that I drive were uh, the zip tie cars. They are beautiful. I used to dig the rocket bunny, but if you guys have not seen the zip tie cars, check those out. I mean, they feel like almost a real car. That dude's balling right there. Yeah, they feel so freaking good. I mean, there's no snap oversteer. It's predictable. Like the STC cars, it takes a while to learn. I mean, I can throw down on SEC cars, but not nearly as precise as I can with the zip tie cars. And it's not like they're cheating. It's not like, oh shit, let's get these guys away. It's not like they're bad cars or anything like that. Like, they're too easy to drift. They're a lot harder to drift, but they're also a lot more predictable, if that makes sense. That is not the topic on today's video. I just want to kind of showcase the wheel and show you guys how she does. A lot of you guys have been asking, like, well, wet fingers, throw up a, a video of the wheel in action. Oh my gosh. So I run the F2 tires, if you guys don't know those. They're the Tovies tires with the Jake Super Secret tires as well. The F2 tires are beautiful. They grip up a lot more than normal tires just to kind of help compensate for the car. Because all the STC cars feel like a million some horsepower. I mean, so easy to break loose. And I'm not dissing the STC cars. I'm just saying like, I'm just basically saying it was a good try. That's all I got to say. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm not no like zip tie fanboy and stuff like that as well. I'm just saying it how it is. Like I had Justin Harding jump on, uh, Kurt and Level Ride, and they drove the STC car. And they said it was like the most real car by far. But the problem with I'm having is I'm used to these I have two tires which are fast and everyone else rocks the performance tires which are slow and you know you, you can hold them at angle with it but it's not they don't feel nice that's all I gotta say a lot of left foot braking is gonna be happening oh man and the colliders let me say that all the SDC cars like and any other car in the game not just SDC but any other car Going in with the 360 right there. All the other cars, like the colliders are insane. You hit somebody and it's like game over. You know, just a little tap. Uh, zip tie worked hella hard on freaking the colliders. It made them like perfect for the car. So if you bump somebody, it's like, like you actually bump them. You don't like ram them, which is sick as fuck. Let's get that wall. Oh man. I thought I would have ran that wall, but I done fucked up. I want to do some tams. I might have to throw on those premium performance, or let's say premium. But yeah, let's do one more lap. Get these tires cooking. Maybe up the PSI in the rear, just so I don't have so much grip. Be nice. Be beautiful. <coughs> Come on. So I always do these online so I can tan them, but I always forget no one runs. They have two tires. I mean, I'm just creeping up on these guys with almost max angle. Oh, I did it again. God damn it. Throwing down hella good lines, though. Identical purple squad. I just gotta take away. Ah, oh, tried left foot break in there too much. And I know, I know this ain't like the best tandems going on in the world, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna go ahead and blame. Like I can't shift in the third. I'll hit him. The. My tires versus theirs, you know. It's not their fault, it's my fault. I shouldn't run such sticky tires, but I just feel like that's 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on those, uh, or not, nah. or no, or maybe. I don't know. I do dig sticky ass tires though. It just helps the car grip up and it feels like a real drift car, you know. A lot of you guys, I don't know, if you drift in real life, I always feel like uh, car ain't, car does not slide how it does in the game. That came out horrible. My English sucks. I need to kill myself. It's like. Oh. oh just try. Quote me on that. Who, who says that? Dodging people left and right. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Tally. Tilly. How do you want to say your name? Tally. She's throwing it down. Oh, he's on a controller. Look at that wheel. That's how you know. That dude's killing it for a... Or not a wheel, a controller. But that's, that's how you tell. Those front wheels are freaking... Barbaric. So much left for breaking and hot. Come on. Ooh. Took out a couple cones. I'm on my right with that. My bad guy behind me. Oh shit. The oversteer is real. Someone's talking about tires. What are they talking about? You hold down tab, we can see what's going on. Oh. I always scope what uh, tires people are running. You, you horn honking? You honking the damn horn on a track? That is, that is a no go. Oh shit. Really? Oh shit. Oh, I almost did to that guy. Oh, I'm a dick. Almost a dick, actually. Mine, oh mine. Okay, come on. Killing. I gotta rip the e brake. Sorry about the e brake noise. I'm fixing that ASAP. Always oh, he? Oh shit, he slowed down! What was that? Oh man, that was gonna be beautiful. So much left foot breaking. Can hear him squeal. Oh shit. But let's get off track. See, that was just a tap. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there one more time. If that was a zip tie car. All would have been well, and I fuck get so serious with that. I gotta do my next video. It's gonna be a ramming with a uh, zip tie. I mean, that's what modders should focus on is like making realistic shit, not stuff that has a trillion horsepower. Oh, I'm dead. You know, not something that has like a million horsepower. Something that slides around is easy to slide. You know, a lot of cars. And everyone says this, oh shit, this game's harder than drifting in real life. And I, like I haven't drifted a whole lot in real life, but I gotta agree for two reasons. One is because you feel like the lateral G-forces of the car and you can actually feel the car. And the other one is these cars, like when the boost hits, they're, they're done. Hey, thanks for waiting up, killing. You know, you break it loose so easy and, oh shit, and like that, snap over steer is another big issue. And that's just with the suspension setups, like, all this crazy stuff. I mean, so much goes into building these cars. Uh, it's really cool to see that kind of like, the game is changing. 
in a heartbeat. You know, everyone that drifts those cars either loves them or hates them. And that's for two reasons. One, because they're used to SDC cars. Like, it took me a while. Took this guy fast. It took me a while to be able to drift those cars because they are lower horsepower. But once you figure it out, they're so much more predictable. So much more predictable and a lot more fun to slide because it's a lot more skillful and more technique. You're not just mashed on the throttle, you know, and breaking the tires loose. You have to have angle with it. You gotta have some hot tires. You gotta have speed. You know, it's kind of like throwing it back to the roots and getting away from like FD spec style cars that have like 600, 700 horsepower. And that's something I dig. You know, we got all these Japanese tracks like this that are tight, and we're running it basically with like FD cars. I mean, so much power. It's, it just blows my mind that everyone's like, seems to be okay with it. I mean, like I said, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll go ahead and like run it and stuff, but it's not ideal. Like, it's not not helping out that's just my thing I mean this is I don't know I just kind of went off on a tangent there but it is what it is oh shit and that's the hardest turn by far on Tamada there we go Yeah, that turns hella hard, it's like where all the crashing happens. And then right here, you hit the wall, you're done. Now that is how you throw it in. I'll go ahead and load up my tune too, if you guys want to take a look at it. Oh shit, oh shit. That was my bad. Say cheese is dotting right now. You ain't about that life. I'm gonna end this video. Oh, well, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I kind of want to make this one a little bit longer video so you guys can see the wheel in action. A big thing I have noticed about the wheel is I don't, I'm not crossing my hands. Oh shit, I fucked it. Because I'm not crossing my hands over as much. Like I, I used to always, I'll show you like before and after. Jump in the front, my bad man. So like before I'd be like, like, I don't know how to explain it. You literally cross your hands, that's something you don't want to do in drifting if you're trying to see how I like, oh shit, that was bad. But like move it like one hand to the other, like that. That's the way to do it. It's bad to like cross hands like this. You want to like meet at that halfway point. Oh. Mother of left foot brake. I mean, I still do it now and again. Don't get me wrong, but because the wheel's bigger. Oh man, so much, so much grip. Oh, if I tap that man. Man, oh man. My game still lags. I don't know if you guys remember. I'm gonna jump out of this. There's no one behind me. Why did I do that? But I don't, or what was I gonna say, my god. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I always used to complain towards the end of my like gaming stuff I did like a month ago, that my game would lag like a motherfucker. And I still haven't fixed the issue and I have no idea what is going on, but uh, yeah, anyways, so that's, that's what's happening to me right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But here's my uh, tune for the car. If you guys wanna check it out. Uh, Falcon Sport tires, best. F2 tires are sick. I'm gonna raise these up a little bit, just so I don't have that much forward grip. Fuel, ABS off, turbo 100. I could lower the turbo, probably should. I'd be like 60, and then my alignment. Zero camera on the rear. So you can always come over here and check this stuff out. Hopefully my GoPro's like, all right. But you can come over here and check out my camera. So it's zero camera, but the way the suspension is set up, it still has negative 0.55. But you want that to be a positive value, so that way when you get on throttle and the car squats down, you actually have a, like a center contact path. Because right now, burning through tires, and uh, yeah, I know, I know it's just a game, but it also helps with your grip value and stuff like that, so you have more forward more momentum, so you're not just going sideways and sideways. Now up front, uh, all that jazz. So, and here's this, I pretty much left it stock. Uh, stock here as well, and then 
lowered it down just a tad. Killing. What up, dog? So hopefully, it should be better. Let's jump back out here before this train comes. I'm passing you, man. Oh, man. You ever drift with me online, like if I hit you, 100% my bad. Like I, I always freak out if I tap someone. Cause I hate when people are like, or like if I tap you, you know, no big deal. But if I ram you, then, well that never happens. Well actually it does if I blow it. Gotta heat these rear tires up. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, turbo dropped. Ooh. Hello, clutch kicks. I probably should actually turn the turbo up so I have more wheel spin so I don't go so far forward. My hands are moving like a mile an hour or a mile a minute with the uh, turbo down. So much grip. But it feels nice. It's good to change shit up. I always talk about that, you know, break out of the comfort zone so you can find different techniques and stuff. My big one that I learned recently is, you know, I always do small clutch kicks. But if you like, oh my shit. What is that guy doing? So if you do like uh, a longer clutch kick, like hold the clutch a little bit longer and rev up to higher RPM. What are these guys doing? Man. Man oh man. I'm trying to get some drifts going. But anyways, I'm going to end the video there. It's been like a long time. Probably like 20 minutes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to post a lot more videos. And I am starting to do like some vlog stuff, kind of like building the car and stuff like that because I think that's really neat now that it's ending like the final it's entering the final stages of the car being built if that makes sense all I need are like so some basic suspension parts install the cage seat install the dash and just like little stuff like that and then uh, obviously paint five lug conversion uh, over fenders and I'm gonna get like a BIS body kit so hopefully all will be well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we just reached 2,000 subscribers, by the way. I should have started with that. And it is freaking badass. Like, never would have thought my channel would have got over 100 subscribers. But it's super cool, and it's really a tight-knit community. And that's what I dig. Uh, I dig all that. So thank you guys, and I uh, appreciate it a lot. It means, like, the world to me. It kind of helps push me in the direction I've been going to, you know, from going to just posting like an occasional video too, to playing a set of Corza. And then I got like kind of recognized for that. And now because of that, I got into drifting and I have opportunities to go out and kind of see how it translates to real life. And I think that's gonna be really interesting to view as well. But thank you guys for watching. Wet fingers out, peace.